Good morning and welcome to all of you. We are here with 11th of July Scholarly Blessing. To be a conqueror of Maya, that means to have all the five elements become helpful towards you. And that's what God is saying that whenever you are doing tapasya or whenever you are connected completely with me, the creator, automatically the five elements also become subservient to you. That means they become in service to you. Let's understand what exactly does God have to say here. May you be a conqueror of matter with your stage of a master and be garlanded with garlands of cooperation. Matter is now invoking you masters. So matter is saying, wake up, wake up. We cannot hold on very longer. So it's saying, please be fast. Please purify yourself. Please be connected to God quickly. Everywhere the elements of nature are creating upheaval. But where you masters of matter are, matter will serve you as your servant. That means wherever we are, that means wherever we have overcome lust, anger, greed, ego, attachment for five elemental things. Because all these attachments are towards five elemental things. Whenever we have overcome these things, automatically we become master of matter. And automatically the five elements then start becoming cooperative. You simply have to become conquerors of matter and matter will garland you with garlands of cooperation. They will be there to help you out five elements will be there to cooperate with you, will be there to help you out. Wherever you Brahmins who are conquerors of matter step or wherever you stay, there will not be any damage there. Think about what God is saying. Wherever we stay, wherever we stay in purity, wherever we are doing tapasya, wherever we open up Gita Patshalas, wherever we open up centers, God is saying there will not be any damage there provided we are following complete godly dictates. Storms will come. There will be earth tremors, that means earthquakes. However, outside it will be like a crucifix, whereas inside it will be like a thorn. That means you will shake up a little bit. Yes, obviously, there might be cracks in your buildings. There might be some kind of upheaval and all because of strong storms. Outside other places, people will have trouble, but you will not have trouble. That means for other people, it might be crucifix, but for us, it will be like a thorn only. Everyone will come running to you for physical and subtle support. They'll be like, oh, this is the building which is so protected. This is the building which is created out of love and power. Let me be over here. Let me be over here. And that's what God is saying, that people will come rushing towards us. How is this possible? Where is this power going to come from? How do we get this energy? Is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. How do we attain that purity and how do we attain that blessing for our place where we stay, where our loved ones stay and more about it, you're most welcome to attend a Pramakumari session, 7 day, 1 hour a day. I'm Shanti with this.